Creatinine is a waste product that your muscles produce when they break down protein. Normally, your kidneys filter out creatinine from your blood and send it to your urine. But if your kidneys are not working well, creatinine can build up in your blood and cause problems. High creatinine levels can be a sign of kidney disease, which can lead to serious complications like heart failure, stroke, and even death. But what if I told you that there are some special foods that can actually lower your creatinine and improve your kidney function naturally? In this video, we will reveal the best 10 foods to lower creatinine levels and boost your kidney health, according to studies. You will be surprised by some of the foods on this list and how much they can affect your kidney health. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, garlic. Garlic is one of the most popular and versatile spices in the world. It contains a compound called allicin, which is responsible for its pungent smell and flavor. Allicin has powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which can reduce the oxidative stress and inflammation in your kidneys caused by high blood pressure or diabetes. By doing so, garlic can prevent or slow down the progression of kidney diseases that can impair your kidney function and raise your creatinine levels. In a recent study, researchers found that garlic powder reduced creatinine levels by 9% and urinary protein levels by 30% in patients with diabetic kidney disease. The study suggested that garlic powder may improve the blood flow to the kidneys and increase the glomerular filtration rate, which is the measure of how well your kidneys filter your blood. So how much garlic should you eat to lower your creatinine levels? There is no definitive answer to this question. However, some experts suggest eating one or two cloves of raw garlic per day or taking garlic supplements as directed by your doctor. Number two, cauliflower. Cauliflower is a cruciferous vegetable that contains many nutrients that can benefit your kidneys, such as vitamin C, folate, fiber, and sulforaphane. Folate is a B vitamin that can prevent the accumulation of homocysteine, which is a harmful amino acid that can impair your kidney function and increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. Sulforaphane, on the other hand, is a phytochemical that can regulate your immune system and reduce inflammation in your kidneys, as well as activate enzymes that can detoxify your body. In a recent study done in 2023, researchers found that participants who ate 100 grams of cauliflower every day for 12 weeks had reduced their creatinine levels by about 10%. The researchers attributed this effect to the high fiber content and antioxidant properties of cauliflower. There are many ways to enjoy this tasty vegetable. You can steam it, roast it, or use it as a substitute for rice or potatoes. You can also blend it into a puree or use it as a base for creamy soups. Number three, astragalus. Do you know what astragalus is? Astragalus is an herb that has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years. It contains substances called saponins, flavonoids, and polysaccharides, which have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. These substances can help prevent or reduce the inflammation and oxidative stress, which both contribute to kidney damage. According to studies, astragalus can also stimulate the growth of new blood vessels and repair the damaged ones in the kidneys, improving the blood supply and oxygen delivery to the kidney tissues. By doing so, astragalus can enhance the filtration and excretion of waste products, such as creatinine, from the blood. In a recent study that included 945 patients with diabetic kidney disease, researchers found that astragalus lowered creatinine levels by 12% and urinary protein loss by 38%. That means astragalus can help lower your creatinine levels by improving your kidney function and reducing the protein leakage from your kidneys. So how can you add astragalus to your diet? Well, you can buy astragalus capsules, tablets, or powder from health food stores or online. You can also brew astragalus tea by steeping dried astragalus root slices in hot water for 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can cook with astragalus by adding it to soups, stews, or rice dishes. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, 
Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number 4. Chamomile Tea Do you like chamomile tea? If you do, you'll be happy to know that this soothing and relaxing drink can also benefit your kidneys. According to a study published in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry, chamomile tea consumption was associated with significantly lower creatinine levels and higher creatinine clearance in healthy volunteers. The study suggested that chamomile tea may improve the blood flow to the kidneys and increase the glomerular filtration rate, which is the measure of how well your kidneys filter your blood. In another study published in the BMC Complementary Medicine and Therapies, researchers found that chamomile extract reduced creatinine levels by 18%, and improved kidney histology in rats with diabetic kidney disease. The study suggested that chamomile extract may protect the kidney cells from oxidative stress and fibrosis, which are common causes of kidney damage. You can brew some chamomile tea by steeping dried chamomile flowers in hot water for about five minutes and enjoy it before bedtime or any time you need some relaxation. You can also add some honey, lemon, or mint to enhance the flavor and health benefits of chamomile tea. Number 5. Eggplant Eggplant is one of the best foods to lower creatinine levels in the body. First off, they are low in phosphorus, sodium, and potassium, which makes them excellent food to consume during high creatinine levels. But more importantly, they are packed with fiber, antioxidants, and phytochemicals that can help flush out creatinine and other toxins from your kidneys and prevent oxidative stress and inflammation that can damage your kidney cells. According to studies, fiber can bind to creatinine and other toxins and help flush them out of your body. In a recent study in the Journal of Renal Nutrition, 13 chronic kidney disease patients were given 30 grams of fiber per day for six weeks. The results showed that their serum creatinine levels decreased by 11.6%, while their glomerular filtration rate increased by 8.5%. So how can you add more eggplant to your diet? Well, you can try marinating sliced eggplant in herbs, lemon, and olive oil, then cook it on the grill. You can also make a tasty eggplant dip by blending roasted eggplant with garlic, lemon juice, tahini, and olive oil. Number six. Cinnamon. Did you know that cinnamon is not only a delicious spice, but also a powerful ally for your kidneys? Cinnamon has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and blood sugar-lowering properties, which can help prevent kidney damage caused by diabetes and high blood pressure. Cinnamon can also help your kidneys filter out toxins and waste products more efficiently, and reduce the risk of infections and inflammation. In a study done in 2020, researchers found that cinnamon extract was as effective as methylprednisolone in reducing creatinine levels. Methylprednisolone is a steroid drug that is used to treat kidney inflammation. So how can you add cinnamon to your diet and enjoy its benefits? Well, it's easy. You can sprinkle some cinnamon on your oatmeal, yogurt, or fruit for breakfast. You can add some cinnamon to your coffee, tea, or smoothie for a warm and cozy drink. Just remember to use Salon Cinnamon, which is the true cinnamon and has less coumarin, a substance that can be harmful to your liver in large amounts. Number seven, barley. Barley is a whole grain that can help lower creatinine levels by reducing inflammation, preventing oxidative stress, and inhibiting enzymes that produce creatinine. It contains beta-glucans, which are soluble fibers that have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Beta-glucans can also block the activity of enzymes that increase creatinine production and release. In a recent study done in 2019, researchers found that participants who consumed barley beta-glucans for 12 weeks had reduced inflammation, renal injury, and calcification in their arteries. They also had lower serum creatinine levels, higher glomerular filtration rate, and lower proteinuria. These are all indicators of better kidney function. So how can you add barley to your diet? Well, it's easier than you think. You can cook barley as a whole grain and use it in salads, soups, or casseroles. 
You can also make barley water by boiling barley seeds in water and straining the liquid. You can drink barley water plain or add some lemon juice, honey, or mint for flavor. Number 8. Dandelion Dandelion is a common weed that you might find in your backyard. But did you know that it can also help you lower your creatinine levels? Dandelion is a natural diuretic, which means that it can increase your urine output and help your kidneys flush out excess creatinine and other waste products. Dandelion also contains antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can protect your kidneys from damage and inflammation. In addition, dandelion can stimulate the production of nitric oxide, which can improve blood flow and oxygen delivery to your kidneys. This can enhance your kidney function and lower your creatinine levels. In a study done in 2018, researchers found that participants who drank dandelion root tea twice a day for two weeks had reduced creatinine levels by about 16%. There are several ways to enjoy this wonderful herb, you can eat the fresh or dried leaves as a salad or add them to your soups, stir fries, or smoothies. You can also brew the leaves or the roots in hot water to make a delicious tea. Number 9. Cranberries. Who doesn't love cranberries? These tart and juicy berries are not only delicious, but also good for your kidneys. Cranberries are packed with pronthocyanidins, which are compounds that prevent bacteria from sticking to your bladder and urethra. This way, cranberries can help you avoid urinary tract infections, which can damage your kidneys and increase your creatinine levels. Cranberries can also balance your urine pH and prevent kidney stones from forming. Kidney stones can block your urine flow and cause a buildup of creatinine and other waste products in your blood. To get these benefits, you can drink unsweetened cranberry juice or make your own by blending fresh or frozen cranberries with water and a natural sweetener like honey or stevia. You can also add dried cranberries to your oatmeal, yogurt, salads. Number 10. Apples. You probably know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But did you know that it can also keep your creatinine levels low? Apples are high in fiber and contain a compound called pectin, which can help eliminate heavy metals and toxins from the body. The natural antioxidants in apples also provide protection against kidney damage. By reducing the burden on your kidneys, apples can help lower your creatinine levels and improve your kidney function. To enjoy the benefits of apples, you can eat them raw, cooked, or baked. You can also make apple juice, cider, sauce, or vinegar. Just make sure to choose organic apples and wash them well before eating. Also, make sure to eat the peel as it contains most of the antioxidants. So these were the best 10 foods that can help you lower your creatinine levels naturally and improve your kidney health. By adding these foods to your diet, you can support your kidneys and lower your risk of complications like chronic kidney disease, kidney failure, or dialysis. Of course, you should also avoid foods that can harm your kidneys, such as processed foods, salt, sugar, alcohol, caffeine, and red meat. You should also drink plenty of water and stay hydrated throughout the day. Remember to consult your doctor before making any changes to your diet or taking any supplements, especially if you have a pre-existing kidney condition or other health issues. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you eat some of these foods regularly? Did you experience some of these benefits? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.